only going to pull 10% of the flows. So what that says is we're just skimming the surface of the water. So we'll never take enough water that you're going to notice a difference. 10% uh, is very, very minor. It's not going to impact the, um, the aquatic life. It's not going to impact the fish. And it's not going to impact the opportunity for farmers to, to pull water as they've always done to feed their livestock. So part of the diversified approach we're taking is it's strengthening our water sources and it's also recognizing the environment to make sure we're, we're cognizant, to make sure we're protecting the environment. You have to plan for a community's growth. You have to anticipate what the demands will be for on the community. You know, a lot of times you read about the transportation and the, the education side of things. What we do at Frederick Water is we're planning for the water and wastewater demands of the community into the future. So we did projections 20 years out and, and identified that there was going to be, there would continue to be growth in this healthy economy that we live in. And so we need to make sure that we have the water necessary to service our customers going forward. So we have to do something. That's, that's what planning is about. You don't want to not plan and then have so much growth and so many demands of water that you can't meet those criteria. Uh, so what we're doing is we're expanding the water sources we have as a community. Um, we, we anticipate being in a position also where because of our diversified sources, we can alternate between where we pull water to service our customer demands, but we also will be in a position to help the city of Winchester because they have a sole source. They have the Shenandoah River, so if there's ever an issue in the Shenandoah River or it's in a drought condition and they can't pull as much water as they need for their customers, we want to be in a position that we can help them and we'll have excess water from our sources to share with them. It's really a project that protects the environment. One way we, we're looking at, 12, we're looking at 20 years of water demand projections which say we need to have 12 million gallons a day available to our customers over the next 20 years. Right now we provide about 6.5 million gallons a day. But we do it through a diversified sources. We, do, we pull water from quarries, we pull water from wells, we purchase water from the city of Winchester, which pulls it out of the Shenandoah River. And what we're looking to do is add another dimension. So the Apecan Creek would be another component of the diversity of, of water sources we're pulling from. The importance there is we're not taking all of our water from one site. So that, that's important to be aware of. Um, the benefit on the drought side is if one site is not producing adequate flows of water, we're not going to touch the water, we're going to pull from the other sources we have available to us. Part of the process when you take, when you provide a public water source, we have to treat the water to meet the state standards. So the water's coming, you know, right now we pull it out of wells and quarries, which is actually pretty clean when we get it. But if you pull out of public, if you pull out of the, the bodies of water like the creeks and the rivers, it's going to be a little dirtier and that's just part of the treatment process. So you clean it, you treat it and you provide potable water that meets all the standards of the state. So don't worry about what it looks like at the beginning, worry about what it looks like when it comes out of the tap, and our design process assures us that you'll have clean water uh, coming out of your tap. We have an agreement with Carmoose which expires in um, 2020, about two years from now. Um, in part of the, uh, that agreement is we, we are paying $1.55 per thousand gallons of water that we treat through our uh, treatment plant. It equates to about a million dollars a year. And what we found is because of our demand and our projected demand that we need to 12 million gallons a day to serve our customers in the future, Carmoose facilities are only certified to provide 2 million gallons a day. So that's inadequate to meet our long-term goals. So we're putting our emphasis on the, the diversity of the water sources and the expanded water sources that the OPEC offers to meet future demands because we realize the Carmoose quarry itself is insufficient. It could complement everything, but it cannot be the sole source of water to meet our community's demands. And under the current uh, agreement at a, at a million dollars a year for two million gallons a day, 
it, economically, it, it's not achievable to, to continue that into the future. Um, on the dollars front, the, the money we save by not purchasing from Carmus and the money we'll save by not purchasing from the city of Winchester will generate over $4 million a year in savings. And that $4 million can be put into paying for the new water source facility that we're, we're undertaking with the OPEC and water supply plan.